I want to introduce our first guest is Damian Spangrid. Damian is a corporate director with Esri, has been coming to the pug for longer than I have, and has a true passion at Esri in building great spatial and uh, GIS technology and actually helping our customers be successful. Welcome, Damian. Thanks, Danny. Good morning. I think there's people here. I can't see anybody with these lights. Today, I want to talk a little bit about our vision, a vision for GIS, a vision for this technology that we all use, how it's enabling us to make a smarter world, but also providing a platform for everyone, everyone in your organization, and in many cases, the larger community. Our world is evolving very rapidly. It's undergoing a massive digital transformation in a way that's unprecedented. And there are many trends that are driving this, whether it's smart grid, the IoT, autonomous vehicles, artificial intelligence, manufacturing, smart cities, big data, and so many other trends that are all driving this digital transformation of everything that we do, both, of course, in our professional lives, but in our personal lives as well. Our children and their children won't recognize the world and how we interacted. Things are changing rapidly. One of the concepts that is emerging is the concept of a digital twin, where you have a digital model of a real world thing, and they're instrumented, so you can start to model the real world thing in a digital fashion. Now, I like to tell people, actually, GIS, we've been there for a while. Many of you model the real world in digital form. The difference is, is it a smart twin or a dumb twin? Most of what we've traditionally been modeling, we model it, we have a representation, we have a history about it, but we don't have a real-time connection to it. Increasingly, digital twins are getting smart. You have real-time feeds feeding the real item from that to your digital model. And you can start to play with the digital model and say, okay, what if the seas look like this? What if the wind conditions look like this? What would happen to its twin in reality? Digital twin is something that you're gonna hear more of as people start to automate and bring things together. But you can think right now that you're actually at the forefront of this. You are modeling the world and abstracting it into digital now and doing things with that and modeling beyond what you can do in real world. Mapping and GIS are advancing very rapidly. They're integrating and leveraging many of these innovations, everything from smart grid to Internet of Things to LiDAR to advancements in measurement to advancements in sensors. I kind of hesitate to ask, but how many people have a drone in either them or their company? You know, how many have crashed it? <laughs> My son won't let me play with his anymore. <laughs> but all of these trends are really driving us, and they're driving us and many other vendors in many different ways. There's some big trends emerging, obviously. If it's not on the web, it's not in the cloud, yeah, I'm not all that interested but also how is it distributed? The cloud isn't always the public cloud, it's also your own cloud. And all of us, I'd venture there's more mobile devices in this room than there are people. So everything you do has to be accessible, reachable on your mobile device. All these innovations are actually helping organizations work smarter. But fundamentally, location and mapping and GIS are becoming more essential than ever. They're becoming a fundamental means for understanding and managing our world. They provide both the content and the context to understand everything that we do. 20 years ago, many of us would still have to explain to people, I work with maps, I work with digital maps. No, I can't find your house. These days, Everybody's aware of maps. Now, as a geographer, I'd like them to be a little more aware of what it means, but they expect it. They expect maps. People are starting to use location and mapping to understand everything that they do, and they don't know they're actually using GIS. And many of you are enabling that across your organization, enabling, empowering people with the maps that change the world, but they don't even know they're using GIS, and that's fine. Because GIS actually provides the framework and process for all your decision making and your action, from data integration and visualization and mapping 
really the measuring and understanding the world, to modeling it and planning and design, to finally taking action with decisions. All of this leads to better understanding, understanding of our world, understanding of our processes, understanding how to run your business better. And this is transforming how we think and how we act.